My name is Kushbu. I work as part of the product training team for Thomson Reuters, legal content research platforms such as Practical Law, West Law, West Law Middle East, West Law UK. And I'll be delivering today's training session to take you through the key tools and different functionality available to run an effective and efficient research through the platform. Today's session is being recorded and the link will be shared for your reference. I've also sent my email address and details through the chat box of this training session, so you can refer to the chat box for my contact details. Please feel free to reach out to me for any questions or any support that you require on the platform. I've started sharing my screen. All attendees should be able to see the Westlaw Middle East page on my screen. Through the session, I'll be taking you through the platform live so that we can discuss some of the platform tools, functionality, and also look at some of the customization options and setting preferences that are available. Westlaw Middle East is a fully online legal research platform. You can log into the platform through the Westlaw Middle East site, and this is the landing page that you will see. This landing page or home page lets you explore different tools and functionality through the toolbar located below the Westlaw Middle East logo. This also demonstrates the different resource types that are available. The platform can be used for primary research, such as legislation, case law research, and it also provides access to secondary source information, also provides research material for any journals, legal insight articles, current awareness articles, news, books, and so on. We'll be discussing these tabs in detail through the session. And on the top right corner, you will find information about your login details, and you can also use the option to navigate to our help screen, which is located on the top right corner. This option lets you access some of our user guides and tutorial videos for reference. The home screen search function, the center menu here, lets you run a search through the entire platform at once. The platform has an easy to use keyword search function that lets you run a search through Excuse one. Excuse me, can, can you please share the link for the this uh, website? I opened the website for Middle East, but it's a little bit different. A little bit different. I'm sorry, if, if you could kindly repeat, please. Please, uh, can you share the link for the, this website? Because I opened the, the West Low Middle East, but it's, it's a little bit different. Uh, yes, from the one yes. you shared. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you. I, I will uh, send the link for the Westlaw Middle East platform uh, uh, as part of an email that I'll be sending a summary email so that all attendees can have the link and they can save it to their browsers as well as a bookmark. Yeah, thank you. Sure, thank you. So through the home screen search function, we can run a keyword search using a single keyword or multiple keywords across the entire platform. You can also use the legislation tab or the cases tab or any of the tabs to run a search specifically for laws or cases and so on. Based on the type of results that you're looking for, you can decide if you would like to run a search through the home screen to cover the entire platform or run a focused search for legislation and cases. As an example, if you were running a search for a specific law, I would recommend using the legislation tab. If you're running a general search where you want to see all results, whether it's legislation, books, cases, journals, and across the platform, then you can start with the home screen search function. It's completely based on each user's preference. If you want to see what are the updates across the entire platform relevant to the current affairs or current recent happenings, you can run a search with keywords. So I'm just running a search with the keyword COVID-19. I've chosen content type as all content. Jurisdictions has all selected as well, and you can run a search. The result page on the platform provides the document delivery features 
print, email, and download located on the top right corner. You can choose one result through the checkbox or multiple results by selecting multiple checkboxes located next to the serial numbers of each result and then choose to print, email, or download the results, single or multiple results based on your requirement. From the filter option available on the left panel, you can also filter to see what type of results we have available. 115 results for laws, 125 results from our journal section, and then we have multiple results from news articles, current awareness, and two results from books as well. While browsing through the results, you can choose if you would like to run a search, further run a search within the result through the option available on the top left so that you can search within the results through a keyword as well. So the standard results page will have this user interface where you can run a search, you can filter, you can edit the search, you can directly print, email, and download any document from the search as well. To navigate to a result, you can select the result title. This takes you to the result page. You have the Arabic version of the law available on the top right, and the English translation is available in the center menu, which you can scroll through using the scroll bar on the right, or you can run a search within find word if you would like to find a word within the English translation. The status icon shows that this is a law in force. In case it's repealed, it will be replaced and mentioned as repealed. While browsing through the document, if you would like to make your notes, you can highlight a section and select add highlight for a color highlight, or you can add a note by selecting the add note option and save the note, which will remain saved on the platform. You can choose to save this document to folders. The folder icon is located on the right. You can choose to create a new folder, or you can save this to an existing folder if you already have folders created. These folders are accessible through the My Folders option, which you see located just next to the main username on top. This helps segregate your research into various folders. The document can also be emailed or you can print and download it. The tools are available on the top right and you can choose the format that you would like to download the document in. The Arabic version can also be downloaded in PDF format. If you're browsing through and you would like to run a search for a specific law, then I recommend using the legislation tab directly. The reason for this is that it provides the search function very specifically to find legislation or related subtypes. You can search using keyword. You can also search by law number. You can filter your search by subject areas. So if you would like to filter your search for only certain subject areas and topics, you can filter them accordingly. And you can also do the same filter to refine your search for legislation subtypes. So if you're looking for only the main laws or if you would like a combination of laws, resolutions, decrees, you can make that selection accordingly. The default selection is set to all. Just below the search function, you'll also find a browse function, which is a library view of browsing through documents. You can collapse each jurisdiction and see which practice areas are available within the jurisdiction and then further browse through to see all documents that are available within these subtopics. So this is an option that we've provided. In case you do not want to use the option to run a keyword search, you can use the browse option to just load the list of results like an index view and then run a search as needed. One of the tips to remember through the law number search is you can run the law number search with just the law number. If you have the year as well, you can use the option to run a search with the format law number followed by the word of and the year. I'm running a search for law number two of 2021. All the other fields can be left as is. 
the panel on the left can be used to filter these results further. I'm selecting UAE to first filter the results for just UAE. I'm then filtering the results further. I've selected education and scientific research. And now you can select the result. It takes you to the full translation where you have the options to print, email, download, and you can also download the Arabic version from the top right. Should you wish to reach out to our team for any questions regarding the English translation, or if you would like to send them some feedback regarding the translation, you can use the link available on the top right corner of every result, and this sends the email directly to the translation team based on your request. If you do not have the law number and you would just like to run a search with keywords, the free text search box can be used where you can add as many keywords as needed. You can also complement these keywords with some connectors to make the search more efficient. If you're running a search for a double word search such as trademark registration, I'm just running the search without any connectors first to see the number of results. So we have 300 plus results available. We can introduce a connector to build a more efficient search for trademark registration. And adding these keywords within quotation marks. This will help ensure that trademark registration is searched for as a fixed phrase. So in the previous search, we had 300 plus results. We now have 48 results as it runs the search for the words as a fixed phrase instead of both the words appearing separately on any part of the same document. You can now filter these results out even further. So if you only want to see the laws and not the resolutions or decrees, you can select just the main laws and then now filter it even further by subject. So if you want to see this within intellectual property, so I've selected IP and you can now further filter by year as well. So I've selected 2021. So you can see federal decree law number 36 of 2021 on trademarks. And you can use the same filters to browse through the results, add your notes or find a word within these. The tab located on the top toolbar here also lets you access versions. So any previous versions can be accessed here. So we can see the previous version dated 23rd of December 2021 to 1st Jan. And then the current version from 2nd Jan onwards is already consolidated with all the new changes. But this is just in case you want to see the changes separately. You can select see changes to track the changes as well. All the other tabs across Westlaw Middle East follow a similar pattern where you can run a keyword search as well as browse through based on your preference. For cases, for legal insight, clause bank and additional sections, you will have similar keyword search options so that you can run a search by specific keyword. When running a search for cases, you can run a search with keyword. You can also specify the subject. So if you're running a search, for arbitration cases, you can add the subject topic here. If you're running a search for employment, you can add the subject topic here as well and run a search by case number if you would like to add the case number details. So we have 600 plus results with the subject topic employment. I'm filtering this out further by jurisdiction UAE. And you can further filter by court. So if you would like to see results for the by court of cassation. So we've brought it down to 49 results. And now you can further filter by type, by subject, by court, jurisdiction, and so on.
the same delivery options located on the top right so that you can use these documents to print email download as needed. Within the legal insight tab section, you can find a useful glossary of Arabic to English terminologies. To use the glossary of terminologies, select the header and this navigates to the glossary organized alphabetically. You can select the alphabet, choose the term that you would like to see in more detail. You can refer to the glossary result here and also save this to folders or download this as needed. Legal Insight also has additional resources. It has some overview guides. It has practice notes on several topics so that you can browse through this for practical guidance. It has interesting Q&A articles within topics as well. And it also has some checklists available, so you can use this for further research for any of these topics. The News tab, located on the top right corner, provides access to 300 plus news wires. These include both the Middle East as well as international news wires. You can collapse the list in the browse section if you would like a list view to see which are the news providers that are covered within this list. We have both the Middle East as well as international news wires here. You can use this to run a legal specific search or you can run a general search as well for general news and awareness by using the free text keyword option. Publication date allows you to set a filter to run a search for a specific time period. The advanced search filters located on the top right. Help expand the search form to also run the search by company name. You can run the search based on headline, region, industry, and so on. So I'm just running a search by company name Thomson Reuters. You can also see as we're browsing through the results that this covers multiple global as well as Middle East providers. And then you can further go into any article to do more research. Within journals, we have journal publications from Altamimi, STA Court and Court, that's Sunil Thakur and Associates, Clyde and Co, an international review of law. So their internal journals are published on the Westlaw Middle East platform. You can browse through these journals or you can run a search within these journals as well. To see the latest journal from Altamimi, you can browse through by year and then further by issue. So within issue 343, you can see which are the articles that were available. This covers various regions. Bahrain related articles are available. There's information regarding Kuwait as well. You can browse through to see information regarding UAE, Egypt. So you can use this for additional research. Westlaw Middle East also provides access to books that are published by Sweet and Maxwell Group. These are the same publishers publishing books on Westlaw UK as well. Within book titles, we currently have the Annotated Guide to UAE Labor Law, Annotated Guide to Dubai Real Estate Law. We also have information regarding business laws, so you can browse through this for further detail. We will also now look at the Westlaw UK platform, which covers similar primary legal research content, but focused on UK and related jurisdictions. I will be sharing 
the links for both the Westlaw Middle East as well as Westlaw UK platform in the summary email shared after today's session. Similar to the Middle East platform, UK is also a fully online tool. You can browse through content based on cases, legislation, journals, and you can also browse through information based on the current awareness articles if you're browsing through for research. Westlaw UK provides the keyword search functionality, supporting various search terms and connectors to use and build an efficient search. Through the Westlaw UK platform, the browse by topic option is also an interesting way of browsing through content so that all of your legal research can be customized based on each topic that you're researching. These topical pages, such as the sale of goods and services page, provides links to all important information. Through the panel on the left, you have key legislation that you can browse through pertinent to this topic, key journal articles, recent cases, key cases, and books and other results as well. What was previously called the Insight Articles is now called Overview Articles on Westlaw UK. So you can also browse through these articles published by our internal editorial team experts on these topics. This is an easy way of browsing through the content for this topic, as it also lists the latest developments on the right panel. It provides a key dates calendar. So if there are any events or any dates to note, you can also view the key dates calendar for this topic. Key legislation is listed here, so you can click through the key legislation to see the entire arrangement of the act, and then you can go into each provision level document separately as well. So this provides the arrangement of the act, and against each part, you can also see the details. So if you'd like to see whether it's a current law in force, or if you would like to see if it's a law enforced with amendments pending, then the icons that are located against each section indicate the same. So for section one here, you can see this is a current law in force, whereas for capacity to buy and sell, this has been highlighted as amendments pending, which is seen through the exclamation mark here. And as you browse through, you can also see if there are any other icons as well. So we can see that we have a repealed section here indicated with the red icon. So this lets you browse through and see which are the topics that you might like to research further. The delivery icons are available on the right, so you can directly email, print or download this document. You can use the same options as Westlaw Middle East, so save to folders, add your notes, and read this in a reading view as needed. The table of contents on the left provides primary references. If you would like to see the key cases that are citing this particular article, or all the cases that are citing this particular article, you can find these listed below and commentary references will also include any references from journals, from books, from topic overviews as well. Within each case result, you will also see the Westlaw UK case analysis feature, which is unique to Westlaw UK. This provides a summary of the case, so you can browse through this quick summary. It also gives you details of the case and the judgment that was held. If you would like to see this in detail, you are also provided with the judgment. You can choose this from the panel on the left, so you can see the entire PDF as well.
So for this example, we navigated first through the home screen. We went into the topic page for commercial and then we chose sale of goods and services. So the breadcrumb trail that can be seen above highlighted here shows us how we reach these research topics. So we went in from the home page to a topic page. We chose a subtopic and then navigated to the key legislation and the key case that was recommended for reading. But if we want to go back to the home screen and run a search for a particular case or legislation document, we have the option to run a keyword based search. You can also run a search within legislation search by keyword as well. Within cases, the options available include running a search by party name, running a search by keyword and adding the subject or keyword type similar to the Westlaw Middle East case search and within legislation. You can run a search with the title, so if you would like to run a search for the document by legislation title and you can also provide provision number details as needed. If the details are not available, a free text simple keyword search can be used to identify the result. Westlaw UK journals include financial journals index as well as legal journals index. These can be filtered based on abstract and full text through the option available on the right. So you can choose the drop down to view only the full text journals or both the abstracted and full text journals as per your preference. And you can search by publication title through the search panel on the top right corner. So I've just run a search by law review and I'm filtering it out by full text law reviews. So we have the Birmingham Student Law Review, Cambridge Student Law Review. Then we can see information regarding the European Business Organization and European Commission and Competition Law Reviews. So you can browse through all law review and related journals in this way. If you want to run a search for a specific keyword, you can also run a keyword based search here. So both Westlaw Middle East and Westlaw UK have the cases content, legislation content and journals content coverage available so that you can expand your research using additional options. Through both portals, you can also access additional research types. Westlaw Middle East has books available on the platform. It has news articles available on platform. Westlaw UK has current awareness, which includes news articles, and we also have a selection of books available. Westlaw UK books are available at an individual book by book subscription basis. So in total, we have 384 books and any books that you would like included in your subscription can be added. Each individual book has a separate subscription. So I'll stop here to now take any questions regarding Westlaw Middle East or Westlaw UK. Please feel free to unmute or use the chat box for any questions. Uh, thank you for uh, the explanation, uh, Toshi. Uh, I just want to ask, when can we get the username and password for Westlaw Middle East and UK? Sure, sure. Thank you for the question. So um, each account, each customer has a dedicated customer relationship manager from our side. So I can request uh, my colleague Harsha, who's the CRM, to get in touch with um, Mr. Hamid and send the list of existing users. And then we can also refresh the list, add, add any new users as well to this list. OK, thank you. Sure, thank you. 
if there are any other questions which come up when you start using the platform a little more, I'm sure when you're using it practically, there may be more specific questions. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll be sharing my contact details once again in the chat box for those who have missed this. So I'm just sending my email through the chat box. Please have this saved and reach out to me if you need any help on the platforms. Right. Uh, yeah, this is Hamid again. Uh, 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 we have been actually updating uh, all of our students' uh, user IDs and passwords, and uh, they have been receiving directly from Thompson. So if any of you ha have not received until now, uh, please let us know. We'll just, uh, you know, because as soon as we receive any new admission or new enrollment, new registration, we immediately send email to Thompson to send an email and that's automatically sent uh, directly uh, by Thompson. So if any of you have not received it, let us know. We'll make sure that you get it, your user ID and password. And in addition to that, I have copied uh, a, a Zoom meeting URL uh, in your uh, in this chat and uh, uh, an email is sent to you. The same link is sent by email from the library account uh, as well. So. We will have the Mahamun session uh, at 5.15. Uh, so if there are any more questions, please go ahead and ask uh, uh, from uh, Khushbu, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you once again, everyone, for joining. And uh, please feel free to reach out to me for any questions. From my side, I'll be sharing the session recording link. And Dana has a question. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, uh, Dana. Yes, please. Uh, can you? I, I I did not pay attention to uh, where you how you opened the Westlo UK website. Is can you just share the link or let me know how yes. to open it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me add Khushbu uh, here. Um, all my students, please. Uh, you can simply go to the library website and uh, uh, you will find on the databases link. As soon as you open the website of the library, you will see a databases link. And in the databases link, you go down on the left hand side, you will find a tab for Westla UK and Westla Middle East. So there is a link already available through the library website. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 